Welcome to episode four of the Cleveland Sessions, where Cleveland.com, OBA Internet Radio, and the Music Box Supper Club introduce you to new music coming from the heart and the fringes of rock and roll. Tonight's guest is Seafair, a prominent Cleveland indie rock band that's moving forward with a new direction and a new lineup to headline major area festivals. Hey everybody, you are watching the Cleveland Sessions. My name is Annie Nikoloff, and this is Seafair. Oh, hi, hi Annie. Annie. Hi, Hi Annie. <laughs> Hello. So you guys just played three songs on the Cleveland Sessions, and I noticed that one of them was new. Um, I was hoping you guys could talk about your new music that you've been working on. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> so I had massive writer block for a very long time, and uh, out of nowhere, uh, a lot of tragedy happened, not with me, but with other people. <clears throat> and I got super inspired, and I came to them with a, a bunch of stuff. Um, trying to think of I mean we're just really excited we're elated about it it's different than anything I think we've ever written before um, I think right yeah. sure. what would you say plus we hired Bruno Mars to, <laughs> to, he's, he's doing a lot of our, our songwriting for us so you guys have been in the studio do you plan on releasing an album or singles or what's your plan with that yeah, your question is as good as ours that's actually <laughs> where uh, we're in the midst of kind of figuring that out right now. We've got a handful of songs that we feel are very close. So after you know, we get them demoed out, then we'll kind of decide whether or not we're going to put everything onto one or just release one at a time here. Um, but we wanted to at least debut one of the, some of the new songs tonight because so, we haven't played them out. So. Well, and I know you guys have a somewhat new lineup, too, with the uh, addition of Megan. Uh, could you talk about oh, God. that new? <laughs> We're terrible. What's going on? <laughs> the new addition to the band. Could you talk about how you entered the band and how it's going for you? Sure. OK. Oh, thank you for the microphone. So um, <laughs> I, uh, okay. <laughs> I had met Shayla at a gig <laughs> um, about a year ago, and we had talked about doing some collaborating a little bit. Um, and uh, I had been posting a lot on social media, um, my music, and Shayla saw me out one night and was like, I was going to ask you to be in my band. And I thought she was kind of joking. Um, but then the next day she was like, hey, can I call you? And she was like, no, I wasn't joking, actually. Do you want to come play with my band? And I was like, yeah, maybe a little bit. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. So <laughs> then I went and played just to make sure that we, it was a good fit. And uh, apparently they like me. A little bit. <laughs> no, we don't. Oh, never. And it, it, it was a she joke. She pays tuition. <laughs> yeah. It was a joke. This is your last show. Oh. We charge, yeah. we charge her rent. Well, and you play the violin, but it's mm -hmm. sort of like a cello, right? Yeah, I got an octave pedal, um, a pog pedal, so that I can play down the octave so it sounds like a cello. And Shayla came up with the idea to call it a via cello. So <laughs> I kind of like it. So I know that you guys returned from a hiatus for about a year. Um, what's it like to be coming back to the Cleveland music scene? It's always great. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, great. Well yeah. said. Efficient. That's <laughs> <laughs> a good point. Yeah, I think, I, we're, we're all very excited. I mean, you know, during that time, you know, we just had a lot of stuff going on then. Uh, you know, uh, babies were being born and people were starting new jobs. And it, it just seems like, you know, the time to kind of take a little break. But, uh, you know, I think we all, it, the itch was there, you know, very, you know, very early on. <laughs> I think we were, we were on hiatus for like a few months, and I was like, hey, you guys wanna start jamming again? You know, so, <laughs> yeah, it, it's great. I mean, there's nothing better than getting up on stage and being able to kind of let loose and, and you know, share our, our, our music with everyone. Well, and you guys are one of the headliners for Bright Winter. Um, you did this also two years ago. What's it like to be doing that again? It's great. <laughs> <laughs> great. <laughs> Do you have anything special planned for the show? Yeah. Uh, we, have, we have a new member, so <laughs> oh. we're going to debut her then. Oh, yeah. great. This is news. There's a, there's a couple little special things we're throwing in there, uh, because uh, if you know any of us, it's kind of like production or die. Um, so that's really exciting. Um, it's going to be definitely, and I think, a great show. And I, I feel like every time we play Bright Winter, my heart grows even bigger and pushes me to continue doing what we're doing. I think that works for all of us. Playing in front of that many people and finding out that like the whole front group knows all of the words to literally every song you're singing, one that maybe isn't released, which is kind of weird. Um, uh, it's, it's great. It's just the best feeling in the world. We've, this is our 40th. 40th, 41st, 40th. 40th. 41st. Uh, we feel at home at Bright Winter. We, this is, I think, this is five. I think for us, 
And everyone has been completely different and completely special in its own way. We've played, you know, first and the coldest day that has Bright Winter has ever had. And we're slipping on the stage. and It was crazy, but it was so much fun. And then we've played, you know, when it was almost 60 and there was 10,000 people out there. So, you know, it's, it's really special. We, we love playing it. We're, we're always humbled and, and honored to play it. And we just hope that, you know, everybody enjoys themselves. And we've got, we do have, a, we have some secrets. Some stuff we're gonna do. Exclusive. <laughs> maybe, maybe a song that might not be ours, but we don't know what it. We'll, oh. we'll, have, to, we'll have to come to Bright Winter to find out what that is. In dragons, dragons, <laughs> dragons. Real dragons. Not to talk about Nobody that. else has that, so <laughs> it's our Hi. edge. Oh, uh, so for 2018, do you guys have any other big plans for the year? Can we talk about that one thing that we nah. talked about? I don't know. <laughs> maybe. It might be, might not behoove us to release it at this time, but we got some stuff in up our sleeve. Way to tease him. <laughs> up the sleeve. Oh. The cameras are that way. He should have got it. Yeah, yeah. got it. <laughs> <laughs> well, any lasting thoughts? Uh, well, just thank you to Cleveland.com and Cleveland Sessions and Music Box for, this is the second time we played it. We haven't played downstairs, we played upstairs. We played with uh, the Polyphonic Spree. Wasn't that There's opening 700 day for them? of them on stage? <laughs> What's that? Wasn't that opening day for them for Music Box? No. It was up there. It was one yeah. of the first shows they had here. So, that uh, was a blast. so we're happy to be back. And I think they've been open like a year. Were they? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> they told me I sang like Beyonce, and I almost passed out. <laughs> <laughs> but awesome. Yeah, yeah we're, we're happy to be. Thank you very much for having us. Thank you, Annie. Yeah. Well, you have uh, just watched episode another episode of the Cleveland Sessions. Uh, this is Steve Fair. The Cleveland Sessions is a video series on cleveland.com, which highlights music that you should know both locally and nationally. For more information, visit clevelandsessions.com.